Thanks, my man. Good luck. AJ G man, that's dead. Eric and Spencer Gold. Gold. Alright, man. Thank you, dude. We'll do it. Give me a sec. Joint. Bro, <laughs> you probably can't because stockholders, right? Hey, J-Mob, hi, the chat, man. Thanks so much for joining the Patreon. Miss Shaver, thanks for the fives. Jacob uh, Ree, 
Jacob G, thanks for the 10. My God, man. And how about that? You know, just... I don't know, 30, 40 minutes ago, Bitcoin, everything was calm and quiet, and then just boom, huge amounts of selling came in. Uh, where do we go? Decibel check. Where do we go? From your low point to high point was already fibbed. Uh, you hit the 38% retrace like the Jesus, man. That is the, the golden zone. That's the beginning of the golden zone. That's like where you would retrace to before reversing. You did reverse. Okay, it happened. So uh, thank you so much. Um, bearish bat pattern coinciding with hidden bearish divergence like the Jesus man. I mean, and, and with like matured histogram wickage. Thank you so much. So uh, is the selling over? Don't know. I don't have an edge. Like I can't tell you if something's Im implying that it's going to reverse when it's like one candle just happened. And it's not even over. 49 minutes to go to this four hour candle closes, but a bearish engulfing is in the midst of being painted unless some serious effery happens. That's what it is probably going to be. And serious effery meaning it doesn't bearishly engulf. All right. Okay, so it's Patreon night. Hang out with the patrons in the chat. You can uh, get all this, just me, every single other day of the week. Even today, for hours today, I was live by myself. But, you know, just on Thursday nights, hang out with the patrons. All right. So, yeah, whatever, man. It's going to be chill. Wheel spins. Let me go ahead and do one, an arrogant wheel spin for Jacob. Oh, God, this is just never going to hit land on him, man. Just never. All right, patrons, drink, whatever. There you go, Jacob, man. I'll treat you. Hey. Uh, what's, what's going on? How much we're live? Just hanging. Oh. So I just talked about Bitcoin moving a little bit. So yeah, we were uh, looking at uh, Bitcoin and it's moved down. And then, of course, we were looking at other things too, like silver. Golds, all the bullions, man. Just kidding, they're not bullions because they're digital because we're looking at the charts. But uh, here's silver, right? Like, what's it doing? And it broke out of its uh, consolidation pattern from the high to low. It is approaching its golden retrace at 1616, currently at 1607, and a 1272 of a potential bearish butterfly. That's confluent with that 618. So confluence area, that was where we thought it was probably going to go, right? I mean, after this move up, that was the target. So you'd think, will this reverse? It could. It very well could, though the oscillators aren't really showing real nice looking divergence because this positive moment could just keep building on higher prices. But, you know, you got to think this might be somewhere a checkpoint for silver. Maybe it reverses there. Mildly, majorly. Mr. Easy Bell. Bruh. All right. What are we looking at? We were looking at silver, Cosmic L. Oh, man. You wouldn't even know. I'm in uh, a voice chat with people right now. <laughs> Hold on. I got to do it. I got to, Yeah. Yeah, they're the crickets. Perfect. More, more crickets. Voice chat. Hello, hello. There we go. You tip through one up coin. Yeah, dude, it's broken. Their website, their their apps, just not working. And and the dude, like, I'm like the only one that actually utilizes it every day. Because no one else on the internet's getting tipped in crypto every day, or very often at all. So like, I'm the only way. I'm like the only way he'll know if the app's not working. And so I'm telling him it's not working. He's like, well, I'm just waiting to hear back. I'm like, I did everything that I possibly could on my side. And so it's him. It's it's Stream Elements. It's Coinbase. It's Jaku. It's all three of them. One of, there's something not synced up. Can't, I mean, you tip me in crypto, I'll get it. But it's just not going to show up on stream. It's freaking annoying. Okay. So thank you, Six, but I just, nothing I can do, man. Coinbase freeze on a uh, little quick movement again. When? Oh, I don't know what it is, dude. They're they're at like 
Quite yeah, froze right. the other. Uh, yeah, what's up, the, Mitch? Uh, what's up, Mitch? The dump. I got a McAllen 12 here on deck. What yeah, we took the coin bases to keep it open all the time, or else who so knows bad. what's going to happen. 24 uh, 7 lines on. I actually just have a, a little water Michelob, Michelob Ultra. Like, I've just been sipping on it. And you know, i first one in like a week or two or whatever. Last time I jugged. But, uh,. Dude, McAllen's 12 year on deck. There you go, dude. Well, that's a lot better than what I got. I'm on keto, so. You just sent a meme tip. Spin with all you got, Mr. Dread. Dude, all right, you gotta Shepard. stop drinking Michelob. You gotta, we gotta find you something by the Molson Coors family. Yeah, yeah Molson no. Coors. Oh my please. god. Lands on the chug. God. Can't <laughs> be on keto. <laughs> All right, nice. Be a rule if you have like buying something, you should have to drink whatever you're in at that moment for stocks. I don't, you can't do that if you want to practice keto. This is impossible. I mean, I, I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe well, not. I guess they all have yeah, those beers. You should try linguisa. You should try linguisa. Linguisa. That sounds. Linguisa. 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 Was that Italian? Like Portuguese, like Portuguese, Portuguese software. Right? Hold on, get in the video. I was going to say, it's a bit off. Italian. Linguisa. That stuff, like, jacks my stomach up hard. What's in it? It's just like a spicier sausage. Like, same, same as other sausages. Pork. Just <laughs> <healthy> <laughs> <protein>. <laughs> yeah, pork, right? Europe. Yeah. Nice here to then, uh, Cheers to all Axlax or right now. whatever else they put in it. Yeah, same thing. Whoever else said that. <laughs> Ling Linguisa goes right through me. It's great on pizza and eggs. Never had a pizza with eggs. <laughs> Must have been after sex or something. No. You just have it on pizza, like in, when you're in the the East Coast, they'll do it. Oh, okay. Cape Cod, like New New Bedford, Cape new Cod, Bed New Bedford, Fall River guy, Fall River. Yo, I didn't hear none of that in Pawtucket though. <laughs> How's your kid? Yeah. How about how about that Matta poison? That was real, right? He that was a real kid, child. You at the hospital? Nah, uh, it was a, a false alarm. Oh my she, days! Uh, Come on, man. Wasn't dilating oh. further, so they sent us home. So, waiting game. Right now, you're waiting. Well, yeah, it, like it could happen, like right now, or it could happen in like. Dude. Like, who knows? Yeah, props. We made yeah, it back. Thanks, Ed Cross for the five. <laughs> That's wild, man. Thanks again, Ed. Hey, sir. Hmm? Uh, she's only at like 30 weeks, so. Uh, uh, yeah, we'd gone in there. Like, if you don't. If she's not. Uh, at this point, we're going to induce by this day. And then our next to last checkup, they're like, yeah, he's going to be too big to come full term. So let's go. I said, this is a crowd, baby. We're setting the date. <laughs> Thanks uh, whoever tipped the five dollars of Ethereum. Appreciate it. Just one up coins broken, man. So I got the beer. It's poured. I'm giving it a minute. Why can't someone create a new app for him? You know. I don't know. I mean, someone can, but uh, I don't know anything about web development and stuff like that. And it's like that would be a serious project for someone to take on themselves. You know. I, like think about all the upkeep involved. I mean, I'm having issues like every day. It's yeah, but it's one company. It's no like three. It's like issues. the developer himself and the Coinbase and Stream Elements or Stream Labs. That's like a little yeah. thing. That's like where Cyber there's a disconnect. Yeah. How do you yeah? How do you consolidate all that that data and and then make it show up when and, and like there right. he's having issues because everything's working on his on his end it's working for me when i <laughs> when i tip myself is, when i tip myself uh <laughs> with like a you know one of the they're like 
test tips, test donations. Be, it works. That would be nice to do, like, just tip yourself, dude. Oh, yeah, I do that, and it just doesn't. It, it works. <laughs> but, like, then when someone tips for real, it doesn't work. So, anyway, it doesn't yeah. matter. It's not worth talking about anymore. It's a stealer of joy conversation with it. So, yeah, I mean, Bitcoin's down like 2.5%. Yeah, all coins really didn't get affected too bad. It's very mild. God, Neo's not even down 1%. Yeah, for USDT, remember back in the day, if Bitcoin pumped or dumped, we were trade setup failed. <laughs> You're like, well, what was this? Crap. What do you mean by that? You're trading. You, the trading pairs were it was Bitcoin or Ethereum. That, the, you didn't have USDT. Oh yeah, yeah. The BTC pair, crap. Man. Yeah, when we we're trading like uh, with some of the weird ones that I was bringing up, Walton Chain and any chance you can oh, yeah, dude, all of them. US dollar What's up, six? Point? Thanks, man. Any edge for a trade? What was the immigration mm. service? INS. <laughs> oh God, like, man! Immigration Naturalization Service. I'm like, what the hell is this thing? Edge for trade here. I don't know. It seems like it's kind of like range bound. You're like, is that a cipher? I don't know, man. It's a cipher. It doesn't look like it. Nah. Bullish engulfing candle. No, I mean, I don't really see a clear edge six, man. Like, I see, you know, it's... Clearly, you're in a range here. So, the question is, are you going to bounce off the bottom of the range and, and rally? You could. I mean, it's possible. I don't know how far it's going to go. You, keep... you know how I feel about arrogant wheel spins. Yeah. You must have intensity, violence, speed, momentum. Thanks. Yeah, they must Dr. Disrespect to connect. Oh yeah, this is just never gonna land on Chuck. This is the stupidest game ever, man. Alright, we're safe. Nice. Thank you, uh, Bats and Man for the 10. Appreciate it. Just remember, I did a morning stream, so I'm just like, kinda tired. I'm not myself, and that's just the way it goes, man. With those morning streams. It's like, everyone wanted morning streams again. And it's like, we do morning streams, and it's like, I'm like, fatigued in the evening. So, I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> do y'all see this? Do y'all see the euro to the US dollar? No chance. Crushing. The range bound on, on the screen, on the stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would see, do. Any, see anything, you know, besides being, you know, near the bottom of a range? Besides being an idiot, uh, I think bearish divergence, so maybe. I mean, there was class C bearish divergence. Yeah, but uh, man, look at the two the 200 moving average. My God, man, Euro just can't break it. I mean, eventually this ice line breaks. You know, you go all the way down to one what's one point zero six. Oh my God! Crap. On a launch pad, ready for takeoff. Serious accumulation going on. You the real Jesus Monday. Is that a joint? I'm the real Jesus Monday. I don't know what that means. Thank you, Tech Sports fan. Oh, we can look at Boeing. For sure. Thank you, dude. So you just gotta think, like, um, if it's gonna hold this 1.07, well, then, you know, the upside potential, it, it could go all the way up to the top of the range, right? Having a stop loss below this ice line. Problem is, you know, it could just go down here and touch before rallying, but uh, you just gotta think, you know, this is where it started. Get price action out of this ice line that was already created yeah, and like it. bounce it. so it's like it's either gonna go you know your target would probably be just 109 to the upside and if it broke this ice line your target would be like 106 i mean that's about it i think on your profits at the 200 and then move yeah, up maybe, so where bitcoin yeah. is at, right i mean look at that little pretty look large look at move red candle. For x. It's just like bitcoin. what red candle that sounds so stupid, but yes, the red candle to the right, right, all the way in, just like Bitcoin. How does this chart look anything like Bitcoin? I, like I said, it sounds stupid, right? Okay, I'll just. It's okay. It's not a big. It's uh, like a. 
<laughs> Sorry, I was trying to relate it to uh, Bear's Divergence, that's all. Oh, accumulation on Boeing? Huh. I don't see lower lows. I mean, yeah, it looks like we could be uh, maybe Gartley-ing or something, so they're... The What's up, Harrison? Dips in your cheek is ridiculous. Not a good look, FYI. The size of my two dips in my cheek? What? Does that mean if I'm smiling? Harrison, I don't understand it. Can someone tell me what that means? Thanks, dude, for the five. I'm just confused now. Oh my god, man, too deep. 70% retrace. Give me a break. Hey, dude. Two Descending triangle and A, B, right? Here we go. Butterfly, right? It's not. It's nothing. 70% retrace is nothing with a lower high in the pattern. But, you know. So, 786 is 110.46. Uh, yeah, all that divergence on the 4 hour is pretty nice. I mean, at least on the MACD. RSI is not really. It's kind of like Class C divergence on the RSI. So, yeah, I mean, it looks like. Maybe it could reverse soon. So 9,500 on the 24 hour was up roughly 2% from today. That's crazy from right now. Oh, That's I why I dropped. Does that, I mean, is that why I dropped? What's up? What happened? So it's still up 2%, right? What they are we talking it. about? It's up 2%. 24 hour uh, price. Oh, I don't know. I just I look at the uh, trading yeah, views. Three point two percent. Yeah, on the new day. Uh, but like Boeing closed today. Yeah, for so. At uh, okay, uh, Boeing base. Socket. So Boeing, like uh, bullish hammer, closed today after back testing one seventeen for the first time. Ask support. What is one seventeen? That's pretty major support. It really is. So holding above that, I think's good, very good, right? It's like I uh, taking volume too. Yeah, you, you sprung, that. and you've yeah. now finally, as of today and only today, back tested that critical support with a hammer. But the thing is, like, look at all the, the positive memo just going away, man. It's like, what's it doing? Yeah. I don't like that. So if it can hold 117, yeah, the rally could ensue, and you can see 143 eventually, and then 157. But like if it doesn't hold 107, the after 107 is like $88. So there you go, man. You could just sit that that stays there until the world figures out how much planes we're gonna yeah. need. Oh yeah, it's terrible. Opportunity cost to delta today. Well, there's What's always that? gonna be yeah. there's always gonna be demand for either Airbus or Boeing. So uh, that maybe a little bit of a dip over the next couple. Of years. Yeah, but I mean, there's still going to be a demand. I mean, people have to fly. If people are at work, they're gonna. But if they have way more planes right now than they currently need, then yeah, but they last years. for years. They last for decades. Yeah, they're just a slow production. They won't sell as many. But Mitch, for some reason, people think that you have a lip in. That's what that comment was about. People think you have dip in on the sides of your. Both cheeks. Saying that, but I'm not Both like my no, face no, wasn't no. even on screen. Would I have a fat face? No way, dude. I haven't had a carb yeah, since 03. That's, ch that's cha. Remember that quote uh, from Step Brothers? Bama don't know Copenhagen. He knows Copenhagen. I've never done dip in my life. Not uh, once. Yeah. Never. Oh. No, but you know Bitch. Copenhagen. Yeah, I, I just didn't know what he meant. I've been wondering, man, like, what. Seriously, like, how many points do you take on on Alabama when they're favored by like seventeen? I mean, sometimes I'll never, I won't bet on them. But like, oh, if they're plus seventeen against some team, I'll I'll get, I'll do a three game teaser. No, minus minus seventeen. Yeah, like, if they're minus they're seventeen, favorite. I'll get a, I'll take a three point teaser and I'll get ten points and I'll make Alabama instead of minus seventeen. It'll be minus seven, and chances are they'll probably win by ten against that team. Uh, that's I like do a, that on anchor. the NFL. I do. Oh, a I don't touch teaser. NFL. Ugh. No, I know, I know, it's sketches, but I, you know, like I had too much uh, parody. Wants to yeah, too much parody. There's too many. The refs are it too involved. Like I think, but I like shoes. English football. Like I love like, you know, real because if they don't, if they don't win, they don't get congratulated. It's called soccer. Yeah, no, it's Harrison. football. And Neither. They, they Sorry. use their foot, son. Okay, catch up. 
And right. no, it's not rugby. No, oh, come on. Good. Come on, man. I'm a Chelsea fan. I'm a Chelsea supporter, yeah? So I watch this. I watch it. I'll tell you who's going to win. I'll tell you that uh, when Chelsea goes to Man U, or sorry, uh, Bayern Munich, I apologize, Champions League, if it finishes up, uh, Bayern beat the the jersey right you know they get right off of them literally but when they go to Bayern, it's going to be worse it's going to be much worse because normally champions league they kind of have somewhat respect away it's like harrison it's what is wrong dude i i said like neither i said neither yeah, like, and and like there's there's someone you know patron speaking and i don't want to like interrupt him so i did say thank you as soon as you tipped but like again it's like it's a different stream than the normal stream people People have expectations. It's like it's one day a yeah, week. You know, Byron was only favored by a half point. Mitch, if you're gonna yeah. dip, you better share with everyone, dude. Oh, it sounds like I Send have it. to dip or something. Yeah, Copenhagen, I got some red man. What do you need? But like, but oh, here's yeah. the thing: Fun in the English Premier League, if if you're on the bottom of the table, like let's say you're the Bengals, right? You get relegated. Your whole team gets relegated, all your fans, all your ticket prices, your whole membership, everything, TV, roasted, wrecked, okay? The top two, three in the championship in England go up. And that's what I love, you know, because there's competitiveness that you don't see that in America. And it's sad. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, not too How can you get rewarded for being the best? Who's trying to lose? In the NFL, when people are paying for those tickets, like that's a lot of money that people are putting their family to. Hey, let's go have a good time. Let's watch our team win, and they literally try to lose. That bothers. Me. It's like the NBA. Oh, oh. Well, the virgins. I I don't know about going out and trying to lose. Come on, man. How do you get first round pick? You have to be terrible. Right. You can tank for Tua, but I mean, so if you have a game that means nothing to you, you're not going to make the playoffs, obviously, and you're not going to make a division anything. Yeah. Why would it's, there's jobs in, on the line? So, there's a lot yeah. of entertainment. You can, yeah, I get look, at, look at wrestling. There's only about look at eight, eight guys out on the on the team that are pretty much not going to have to work again that have guaranteed spots everyone else is I mean, including I, I the coaches I, I, all the staff i mean i just feel like it's a failed system you know like i feel like the best people that come out of college and first round picks i feel like they should go to a team that is going to support them you know make them a better player that they already are they have the ability they have the coaching they have the staff you know they have that already ready for these people coming out that's all they wanted. They've had that life. Every sport and in the of, world, the worst team has the, has the first first draft pick. So. Like, that's how it, it, it bothers me, man. So when, when I watch English football, that's why the fans are really into it. That's why every win matters. That's why every loss matters. You mean soccer? Football. Yeah. Soccer. Yes, soccer. Man. Come on. But, I mean, if you haven't been paying attention, the MLS, right, is building momentum. That's one. Yeah. I, I was um, like, I said, if there's one thing I would invest in, it wouldn't be like a Star or Starbucks franchise, which, you know. Um, you you could, could invest in, like, Manchester U. I, ha I think I had Manchester U in my IRA for a little. No, couple, it's good. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, an MLS club, you will make your money back probably... Ooh, Hey, on that euro, okay. euro to the US dollar, I'll take it back. RSI is actually showing a smidge of bullish divergence on, yeah, right here on the yeah. RSI. So that's that like, uh, maybe, man, let's you know, bullish and golden candle. So you got, uh, there's a chance here, man. I mean, the slight edge. That was for six. Sorry, dude. I, I just noticed it, yeah. So macro, bigger picture, you think if uh, the Fed announced they were going to go negative rates, you think that would make the dollar weaker and push the euro up? Oh, I don't know if it's going to... I mean, maybe. 
I don't know, man. You say he wasn't going to do negative rates, though? Yeah, I don't think Yeah, I know he happen. said he wouldn't, and I don't think he is. I mean, that's how I'm playing it right now. I mean, I I think that there's been too many, many other Congress major economies that have out. done negative rates and it hasn't worked. They're, I mean, they've... they've the interesting thing had, I saw about the it... the fastest retrace to the 618 in history. Yeah. Helped out quite what? heavily by the Fed. <laughs> what we have, too. Based off of what? Or, yeah, know, but, how, but how much did they actually buy? Because for the, I've been reading that they didn't actually buy anything. They just printed They printed a fair amount of money, right? Uh, so, Kevin. They did QE. They uh, ran the repo markets. They're buying uh, the HYG ETF. Uh, um, they're when did they start doing they, that? The HYG T. Did they just start that yesterday? Monday was when they started. They claimed to have started, but I don't know. BlackRock's in tr control of it. Yeah, hell yeah. So, I mean, they're they're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it at an obvious time. When it was initially announced, it pumped. But uh, no, they're just they're basically making sure certain companies won't go into get downgraded certain credit ratings where pension funds can't invest in them anymore. You know, like Ford and big companies. But no, there's just a ton of liquidity yeah. worldwide. And I think a lot of liquidity is from overseas in this country, in, in this market right now as well. And you have safety plays that are like Apple and Microsoft now. It's like a bond. You're like, well, yeah, that's crazy. I, but know, it's true, I I'm that. getting no return on this if I just hold it cash for your. You, you have a money billion. manager that's managing a billion dollars a year for you at 1%, and at 2% inflation, basically, you're, you're losing if he money. Doesn't, he's got, he, yeah, you got to. Right, that's the profit thirty million a year just to to break even. So they got to put money to work. I mean, that's, that's the whole thing about the low rates, right? Isn't that the whole issue? Is it makes the fund managers have to do different things than normal? You can't just buy, you know, the bonds. Well, bonds. I mean, bonds really haven't been a. I mean, bonds. Bonds haven't been a, a great. So Ke Kevin, uh, I mean, we can do bread. I don't care. I can turn it on. What? For years. I can be in LA around, dude. We went. But the, hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> hey, I'm probes, dude. <laughs> what's <laughs> up, man? Where's <laughs> bro? Oh, I'm just kidding. It's delayed. Oh, oh, oh ramps. Yeah. Dude, I have not seen the football yet. Their knee uniforms are awful looking. It's okay. We can go There's some, a Nike yeah. came out with some awful looking uniforms. Dude, the Rams' new uniform looks like some like USFL from like '81. Yeah. Uniforms, man, it's so bad. I'm like, I. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, why do I have one green well, confetti? I, I mean, I don't know why they moved up and they're gonna share a stadium. Like, when they cut like your fan base, I mean, I know. People from San Diego hate the Chargers now for leaving San Diego. Yeah, Jets and Giants will always share a stadium. Yeah, they have two like, huge fan Jets bases. Nobody. Nothing, even with. I mean, what? We're talking about 2009, or sorry, what was it? 2000. Shit. When did they win against the Patriots? The 2007 and 2010 season. Right. I mean, who cares about them now? Eli's walk. Just I mean, there's still a lot of. I mean, that's what I feel like. That's what's I happening. heard Giants the Vikings, fans. Right. The Vikings hired cousins. You know, Vi You know, this cousins guy paid what ninety million guaranteed. Shit. I mean, complete shit. And you have Tom Brady paid pay less. And he's like the best in the league, and he's a hero. You know what I mean? Someone's getting a kickback in the front office. Nerd heard Bitcoin hit a target, I guess. If you're talking about a fib, fib node, 
a common retrace fib net bitcoin has, a, has achieved it and no lower that's what it hit 92.43 it didn't hit a support it hit a freaking fib node before bouncing I mean, that's it dude that's it so far and uh if this is usher ends a newer wave you know like you get waves oh my god that's how crazy harmonics are that's why they're so accurate we get a new wave down, you could see 9,000 or 8,800, and maybe by the time we get to those areas, you might have an edge on the market for the upside. It shows bullish divergence or something. Instead of hidden bearish divergence, at an 88% retrace. Oh. Chat, are you dead? You nope. out there? They, I think they are dead, man. We're here. We're listening. Well, not y'all. I mean, y'all are here. Yeah, I know. Y'all are here. I'm just talking. We're about. here. We're here. To the collective. Oh, no. Do we ever make? We never. We haven't closed a daily candle for a higher higher yet, have we? What happened? Uh, daily. We haven't high. closed a, a daily for a higher high. No, lower high on Bitcoin. Yeah. You just three white soldier stuff, and now you got the red candles showing up. It's like double top, man, on the daily. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you don't know yet. I mean, it could pivot and rally. Look, we start getting positive memo again, start climbing. You just got to break 99.50. That's major. Like, you've hit, it, you've hit it once, you had a major reversal, you've rallied, you've not hit it twice. How about just playing the falling three methods just off the candlestick pattern and <laughs> dump right after that? That was nuts, man. That was on Saturday. It's like not even like, well, it's Tuesday, man. No. Nah. Nah, dude. It was like Saturday, perfect time to go out yeah. and get drinks, hang out. Nah, dude. It was like, Don't dude. It was like 15 minutes after I ended the stream, too, or something. Like, uh, it was stupid. yeah, five minutes. The, I don't on know. the 11th, the daily candle closed, and then uh, yeah, the not long after. Yeah, that falling was... three methods. Yeah, right here. Oh, brutal! It was so gorgeous, though. I mean, that's like the most textbook freaking pattern. You can't beat that. It tested with the 200 down there. No, I never tested the 200 on the four on the four hour anyway. Never quite got there. Cool. Uh, cool, Julio. Well, silver up four percent. It's now over sixteen dollars. Yeah, dude. Yeah, silver. Should have got some more coins last night, man. I was about it to did, do the, it. The first dump, the big dump, tested the two hundred exponential twice. I know you don't use that one, but. Re. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I'm just a piece of bread, man. What do you expect from me? Piece of bread that's been up for many hours. It's more bread, man. Come on. <laughs> I can only be Great so tip. much bread. Don't think there's any new bread filters out. My God. We'll see if there is. I don't know, man. Let's try this one out. Oh my God, man. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> kid. <laughs> Got my teeth right here, man. We're good. What is this? I don't understand this one, man. Okay, this is just a different angle. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Holy oh, man. He's doing that, man. He's a bread again, man. 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 help me, man. I can't move. Oh, wow, dude. I look like a potato, though. This is br It says it's bread, though. I don't know. Looks oh. like the tortilla oh, thing where you like bite oh, here we go. your eyes out and then bite one. your mouth out. <sighs> that looks like a bagel almost. Good. Hey Mitch, does, does the uh, stream level elements, do they get like a percentage of um, the tip, like 1%? Stream elements? I know nah, I don't think so. Yeah, the crypto one. Like what's uh, the, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think they get anything. It's just a free service? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that I don't get any charge from them. No. Just super chats. Super chats. Yeah. Yep. That's it. I mean, so PayPal is going to so take that. What? What happened? And the, the the company that does it and everything—they don't make any profit. 
On one up coin? I don't think so. No, it's just a guy. It's just some guy. I don't know how he monetizes or anything. I don't think it's big enough for him. You know, it's like if I'm the only one that's going to him with problems, reporting bugs and stuff. Well, there you go. I mean, how how is he making money anyway? Because he he'd be pleased with just people using the app versus getting money. You know, that's how it starts, dude. You don't do it for the money. You're doing it, you know, because you like web developing and the money comes later. Like most things in life, when you actually genuinely like doing them. Anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it is a it is a very great use case for for crypto. But like again, like. I'm like the only person getting tipped in crypto like daily or whatever, you know, because I'm like streaming every day. But like it's a crypto channel, man. I don't know. There aren't many of them. So what is this? Oh, my God. This is disc what a terrible. What is that? Oh, my God. What are some of these filters, man? Oh. Do you know if one up coin can be used to also like integrate just as a payment system into like, um, Say a website, say you're selling something like a product for a fixed price. Can you just have it do it as that as well? Oh, I have, I have no idea. That's ab above my understanding. I've always been thinking about like if I was going to start up a business and sell something, I'd, I'd want to be able to charge in crypto as well and do like you do, where you keep the you know it, the asset as the asset and over time but if you're paying for the good then you need to like you know sell some of the profits to repay for the cost of materials you're just getting tips so you don't have to repay anything mm -hmm. for sure going, so you'd have to have like a stored bank basically uh, of crypto to allow the purchase of, of any crypto no, I'm not talking about selling, buying and selling Bitcoin I know you're um, talking. or crypto. I'm talking about just like being able to have regular goods and services and well, and if you if they were actual goods and services but you had to put up capital to make, well, if you're selling for crypto, then you'd have to liquidate some crypto to then, you know, rebuy your, your cotton But it's just like a, it's just like a Bitcoin ATM, isn't it? You know, so if you have enough crypto to sell dollars, you know, or any currency, then you have enough in storage on a server or whatever it may be, um, cold storage, you know, whatever, uh, to where, you know, you can handle that transaction without any complications. Yeah, I mean, if you just have a large store of cash, you're saying, and you just right. want well, like, no, you know, in Bitcoin, you have, the, the problem that I see as far as the business model is the fluctuation, the volatility that which just literally showed me. Um, well, right, 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 but I'm saying I want to take advantage of that, right? I'm saying like if I started a small business and I'd want to be able to like do some of my sales, like the stuff that gets sold in crypto, I keep that, you know, revenue, you're the, what the, the net, you know, the growth, the like the sale in crypto, just like Mitch does with his tips. So that in like three years from now, you know, I still have that 0 0.0001 Bitcoin that someone paid me for a pack of seeds or something, right? No, it's and it, like, here's the thing. Just like, are you familiar with Paxful? No. All right, so Paxful, you can sell Bitcoin to get, let's say, Amazon gift cards, right? And that's where I got the Nigerian part from is uh, I sell a lot of Bitcoin over there to get Amazon gift cards. So I get it at like 30% profit. Just for Amazon gift cards, so I get whenever. Uh, what are you doing? It's my God. So you get thirty percent, right, on top of the money you already have in crypto. The problem with owning a business and running that is that if you have all this this Bitcoin put aside, you're selling it at whatever price they're buying it. So if the price is really low, let's say you bought it at you know fifteen thousand, and people are buying your products at seven five, you know, do the math. You're getting wrecked. Wait, if they bought it for, you're the one that's selling the product. It doesn't matter what they bought it for. <laughs> I understand that, but well, I guess that is true. So, what would? How do you adjust that? Well, I guess it would be. This is, that's a tax. You're talking about a tax issue, basically. There. I mean, if the, if the person you buy it for life. Okay. Well, all I'm talking about is just being able to keep your revenue that you get in crypto when you buy it. But Mitch, were you just a pixel? I was a lamp, dude. I was lamp. 
Or do I sound like crazier? Because I do just talk about different things, man. I'm just talking about like you know selling goods and services, kind of like Mitch gets tips, and right. then being able to keep there's that. Reason why, and, and just, there's a reason why companies aren't doing that so much. It's because they. Oh, I understand why. I'm just saying I would like to do it. Oh, you have Bitcoin that. changes. So, the company who holds Bitcoin, who extends it back, basically in currency and fiat, quote unquote. Um, is going to have to be able to manage that, and that's the biggest, I think, hurdle that a lot of companies are struggling with. If if, if I'm wrong, then it would be all over. Uh, one quick second, I just want to say, Mitch, that uh, Toast Neck Stabilizer is a keeper. What is it? To to what? Toe stabilizer? The toast neck stabilizer. What is that? Oh, the toast next next stabilizer? How? Where? It looks like it looks like one of those big things you have to wear after you've had a neck injury. That big oh, piece wow. of toast you had around your face. Yeah, what do you do? That was that's, that's a keeper. Yeah, I love it. Do I sound stupid or something? I mean I I'm new, so you sound fine. Okay, I'm still just trying. To, I'm trying to open my mind as well. Oh my know? god, dude! Look, chat. I'm freaking birdhouse. Why the god? Why don't businesses like literally adopt Bitcoin? Why is that? <laughs> so good? Not fees. What are you? A bird freaking birdhouse, man! I don't know, dude. You could be anything in 2020. You're gonna, you choose to you're be gonna a, be a pecker right, in, right in your mouth <laughs> here in a second. Look at her, oh, Scram! Wow. Goodness gracious, dude! What a what a brave new world! It's the brave little birdhouse. I'm cool. It's like snowing out there. I know it is snowing. It's weird. It's a weird birdhouse. Huh? Whatever. I was told there would be technical analysis, sir. Yeah, dude. Well, you are gravely mistaken. So get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a birdhouse man. One does not simply do TA as a birdhouse. I've learned from experience these past 20 seconds. Oh, what is this? Uh, what is this, man? Oh my god, dude, look! <laughs> this is pretty cool. What's going on? What is it? Hey, we're coming for you, man. We're coming for you. Don't break the rules. Oh, or you will get raided, okay? Dude, thanks a <laughs> What are you? Are you SWAT? I don't know. Are you, Valdi, I don't are know you a raper? Is. Dude, I don't know, man. I'm gonna get you, dude. He had, he had the craziest look in his eye. At one I point, did. he said, let's get it on. Dude, I can be a piece of jello. I'm so know. not a raper. Wait. Oh, do you, Wait. like, not hold Wait. it in? Or, like... Oh, I can change the color of me being a jello. Look, I can be... I can be green jello... Or I could be, you know, whatever, dude. This is 2020, man. Welcome to it. The big green jello, man. I heard about that. So wild, man. Do they have a Max Hedrum filter? What is that? Max, what is it? Hedrum? Uh, it's Hedrum. Yeah, it's probably just Four before. Is there. Do you think it would be? Do you think uh, someone would make that filter? Oh, for sure. Okay, Max Headroom, I can search. No, oh, not on Snapchat. Nobody will make it. Is it like H E A D? No. Oh. Headroom. Uh, like this guy? Or something? Wait. Wait a second. Waiting in. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Is this, is this oh. him? I don't know, this is the best one they have though. It's, it doesn't it seems very crude. Very crude. It looks like you're just holding a cardboard cutout in front of you and moving. <laughs> oh that's cool. Is that the background of Max Headroom or whatever? You can still see you can see the side of your hat and your ear popping out. <laughs> what is this? Well the background is really cool. Yeah, the background that's a really cool background. Yeah, but the most important filter question mm -hmm. is there a Bob Ross filter? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You'd yeah. think so, right? 
Yeah. What do you have hooked up in the back uh, underneath your yeah, jerseys? I'm being pinched by Bob Ross right now. Oh my God, look out. Holy crap, dude. What is happening? Bob Ross is painting me. <laughs> yes. I've been trying to, I've been trying yes, to get you to do that yes. for like a week <laughs> now. Oh, man. Ed, that face is so Better magnified right now. Oh, yeah. How you doing? I look pretty I good. A little pretty tree right here. Yeah, you're out there, yeah, man. Yeah. Finally, we got our wish. Dude, we did. Getting painted by the man himself. Have you tried out, like, all the different psychedelic ones? I don't think so. I've tried oh, out some. There are Bob Ross what? ones, though. Where I'm getting painted by him, but I could also be like, it. Eh. That one's a terrible one. Let's see. Uh, that's some little happy little trees, right? Hey, we got Tree a connects, happy man. little eyebrow right here. Hey. We a friend, so we paid another happy eyebrow. All right, all the Bob Ross ones, like, where it's actually me suck. Like, they don't, you know, it's not like the Tiger King. We need to get the Tiger King developer to make a Bob Ross, you know? Because the Bob... Dude, that know, guy, the, the, the present he's in is, like, oh, what? a mile and a half from me. Yeah, I need to go. go. I need to go see if I can get like a, a interview a with him. Day pass. <laughs> yeah, a day pass. I'm sure they're like he's on. No, <laughs> he's complete lockdown. She's in a medical ward, medical facility. Yeah, I like those places a lot. What? Where are they? Did he get trapped? Medical federal, he... federal oh. prison. Oh no, no, I'm. Yeah. Yeah, Mitch, no, don't I... eat the What happened? Don't eat the paint. The paint? Good oh, boy. yeah, this painting? Is, yeah. Is this working mm -hmm. right now? You Somebody can't buy me, please. Yep, it's working. Yeah, we hear you, Mo. Yeah, Mo, I, I think you were in the wrong chat before. I went no. over to that chat no. somehow before. Hey, six, yeah, man. I'm kind of new to it, so... Uh... Waiting for the. I'll just let it uh, do its thing. This is gonna. This is weird, Brooklyn. New Zealand. Yeah. Us oil edge for short four hours. What are they getting her, mate? Thank you, dude. I don't know about that. Maybe. Ooh no, man! It's like just hugging this resist, dude. If it breaks twenty eight forty five, it's gonna probably break to the upside. All right here, here's your U.S. oil, like you know that impulse, and it's going sideways. Sure, it could reverse here. Yeah, I mean, is there much of an edge? It could be divergence, but it's just like, what it if it breaks? I guess you get stopped out, right? But um, it can go all the way up to thirty four dollars if it breaks this twenty eight forty five area. Isn't that crazy? It's like an impulse and then just a, bit, a bullish rectangle. And you're kind of breaking or trying to break the rectangle, but you just got this overhead resistance right here. And if you break it, you could be Kang. Yeah, the June futures yeah. contract ends tomorrow too, so <laughs> be so, careful. Yeah, I don't know if it's I don't know if it would dump here. It very it could it looks neutral to bullish where it could it rally the upside again. So uh, you go to that high point, a low point, you've exceeded a 382, the 50% retrace, the next target, I mean, 3289, 618 is 40 bucks, 462, and that's a gap fill. Gap fill at the golden retrace, sweet mother of God. And guess what? Your tuner moving average, you're above it, and it's starting to turn around a little bit after capitulation, where you were at negative 30 something dollars on oil, right? So, I don't know if there's an edge for short, right? You know, man, it could break the upset. Oh, my face is on display. Oh, God, it looks like crazy, man. That's right, Six. That's right. OMG. Those are the words. Uh, get a little bit of my eyeball, man. Get. Oh, yeah, right there. Right there, man. Thanks so much. All right, perfect. <laughs> now we can change it. The filter or something. Hmm, what else do we search for? Wonder if you could do a whole stream like that of actual PA. 
Yeah, yeah, probably. Could probably get away with it. I don't know. Get a little length. Same loop. What's up, William Allen? Yeah, refi your house to go all in on OXT. Nerd herd. Uh, that might not be the way to do it. We'll see if I get face tattoos. Hey, yo, what's up, dude? What's up? Coming at you. It's your, it's your boy. It's your boy, uh... Sparks. It's, it's your boy Sparks, man. What's going on, uh... <laughs> I got face tats, man. I got this one uh, just a few days ago, man. It says, uh... I don't know. Something about harmonics, dude. Right here. Are we on a delay? Are we having delays? Is my internet out? What happens? Four hour no, candle has closed. You can see it. Alright, we good. Where did it close? Uh, yeah, I got this from my, my homie in Hoboken Ho or whatever in New York. There they go. All right, 94.47 on the new candle. It's starting to sell up just a little bit. You think uh, what could happen is uh, here on this candle, we could rally to 9,600 to back test it as resistance if it's true. Or it could just sell off, whatever. But bearish engulfing candle chat is confirmed on the four hour. Also, confirmation of a close below 9,600. So 91.50 is kind of like your next realer, more real support that we didn't hit. You can't do TA on U.S. oil since it did a reverse split. Uh, we just did. We just did U.S. oil. So that's U.S. O. Yeah, that's the one that does. No, that. it's it didn't have a reverse split. Chesapeake did. Oh yeah, and then April. oil just uh, the contract expired. A new one came up wherever the spot price was for oil at the time. Yeah, yeah. When you do when you do the futures contract, you're looking at continuous current contract. So yeah, it just automatically flips. So to look the next at the one. hacker man. What's going on? Are hey, y'all remember the dragonfly? We haven't done the dragonfly in a while, man. What's going on, man? And hey, what lights do you use behind your uh, setup for underneath uh -huh. your? Uh huh. Uh huh. I use uh, Lumia. Sorry, not Lumia. Um, Philips Hughes. Philips Hughes attached yes. to like Alexa or something. Oh uh, no! It, well, again, it, it definitely syncs up with Alexa if you want to. If you want to use voice commands and all that, no, it it hooks up to its own hub. And uh, the hub's like the brain, and it like commands. You know, you use the app, and the, it goes to the hub, and the hub relays to the lights, and does whatever you want. So yeah, I have, I have too many Philip Hughes in my house. Like my whole house is like smart bulbs. You can control it on your PC too. Oh, uh, I mean, I might be able to. I don't know why I'd ever need to control. I mean, you know, I can with my stream deck. Yeah, I have like I can change my lighting if I want on my stream deck, but I don't. I mean, I could probably create macros on my PC itself, but you know, I don't need to. I have too many convenient ways to already control my lights. So I don't think controlling my lights via my PC itself is that convenient when I have my phone literally right here on a dashboard, like a dock. How do they basically. turn colors when you, like I've seen uh -huh. you know, donations or something Yeah, like that. that's, yeah, man. That's when we get deep into the secrets of the streaming worlds where we go to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro and we meditate. And it's kind of like Jedi training. We want to, if you want to go, we can oh, do it, right. man. We can do it. The streamer. Wait, what, uh, what is your board thing? Is it like a like board a thing? DJ programmable? Like, is it on your, uh, well, how do you change it? You said it's stream it's deck. Like keep, it's, what's it, the stream deck? What it's is a, that? I'll show you. Hold on. I think we need an at home, like, tour. Uh, yeah, we need, I, I've we done need one. A, I've done a big one before, but it was this. It was like uh, maybe August, September last year. It was it, my internet went out. I had to do an IRL stream. And uh, I think you've posted pictures of it on uh, Instagram. Yeah, but I mean, I did like a really nice, like I did like a tour with my phone up on like all the pictures everywhere, like all it's everything. I don't know. Someone would have to find it from last year. Does anyone remember me doing that stream? I don't know. That one we still do. I remember watching. that one. Oh yeah, do you, man? For real? I'm, I do actually kind of remember you showing like your computer and your big screen up top and like different computer and stuff like that. But I don't know if I remember what the stream. How many times is Alabama gonna win by ten points this uh, whatever season? Oh, I have no idea. I don't, I, like 50, a lot, 60. but 
I wouldn't speculate too much on it. That like that's just not how I bet, you know. Like on those future ones, no. like that are long shot, I'll do week by week matchups. Me too. Trends, all that stuff, history, just historical trends. Testing, I heard you talking about like your best you had. I think you had Alabama, and you were telling people like I had that half point that saved me. Oh, the Iron that Bowl, that yeah. Point. Yeah, I had, I had yeah, Alabama yeah. Like minus. Said, like, I had them at minus 3.5 and Alabama lost by four or something yeah. or no, no, it was like minus, no, I had them Three. minus two and a half, minus two and a half and they missed the was, field goal and it, they would have tied it up. Half point. Yes. Half point. Yeah. That was the only reason I won that is because I had a 3.10 game teaser. And, and it's like, and this is what you said, famous words. You're like, always look out for yourself. And that's so true with betting, especially with sports. Like if you know a sport, give yourself a little bit of cushion. You know what I mean? That's like if you the, do that. Normally, the only way I bet in college football is the teasers. I don't know. It's just the thing I do. It's like uh, you know, sometimes I'll every now and then, yeah, I'll do a second half line or I'll do a straight up bet. But the bread and butter for me is three game teasers, two game teasers for sure. Who'd you take? Who'd you take? The Niners or the Chiefs? Uh, I, I took the Chiefs. I flipped a coin really? and it landed on Chiefs, and I took the Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally how it, I did it live on stream. So I was like, who do you flip pick? And I'm like, let me flip a coin. It's the Chiefs. And they won. Dude, fuck. Do you think they'll win again? I know they're going to take the division. Uh, I don't know. I'll get another coin and flip it again. Flip it again against who? The Ravens? No, no. I'm just like, I, I literally, when you asked me like that question, people on stream asked me who would win. And I got a coin out and I flipped it and it landed on tails. And that was, that Pretty happened. Strong this year, by the way. Huh? I think the Bills might be quite strong this year. An upset. Well, they could be, yeah. But I just I don't really follow NFL at all, so like I'm not gonna have any edge or understanding. Like I don't really English follow football. NFL. Are you into that? Are you into English? Sorry, soccer. No, I, I'm only into one sport, and that's college football. Like that's it. I don't. I'm not into NFL. I'm not into college uh, football. Okay, so if I pay you, how much is it? If you're a patron, I give my picks. So that's during college football season, that's what's up. Yeah, up. it's all it's all I hit, everything's like posted end, in the Patreon chat from last year. Like the some of the bets, you know, and like Smiley Face could attest for that. My God, Red the coattails, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, face, you know, I was like, Mitch, what do you got? I mean, I just don't know. You know, I just wanted to throw it out there, like against the wind, and see what happens. But um, because I, I like to sports bet a lot, and I hit like a ten teamer, uh, a six. Uh, yeah, a six teaser, right? Six point teaser in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two game, Not, six point. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if you hit one of those, you know, season sixteen matches, uh, if you put a hundred down every week, anyhow. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I like the NFL in, in certain aspects. I feel like the only ones to bet on are divisional games. Like you have to, that, and this goes back to. I'm sorry to be negative, but like why american sports suck in this in regard as far as professionalism not against collegiate uh, mm -hmm. where there's too much i'm not offended yeah so like you have to look at divisional games and ha where people may spike you know like individual players and all that and um all there's too it's too complex and i understand why you don't get involved because of that it's just too much like if it's not a divisional game dude they'll just lose you know like they don't care they'll They'll lose to the Dolphins, you know. Probes, uh, what about you? What do you think about that, his assessment? Because, I mean, you know, Probes, like... If there wasn't other... If we didn't have three major sports, and I guess hockey's fourth... The MLB just to already focus team. on, then, uh, yeah, we'd go ahead and no one from London or Germany or anyone would have jobs because all of our athletes would the we'll play some US is like the best them. professional athletes in the world it's all as, television. as a whole so whatever sport they would compete in they'd crush not in football though not in English, like not in yes they would 100% are you serious yeah. you're telling me the MLS is better than English no if all of our best athletes grew up playing soccer and decided really that right. was the sport yeah, that we had the economy well we had the we would destroy we... the world and that's why i told you like if if you're a big investor like big time money and you want to invest in something you see these like 
uh, small celebrities and whatnot, they, they're starting to do it. They're starting to get into these MLS um, clubs because they know the potential. <laughs> the potential is crazy. MLS has been here for... Is that a joint? I do a test. 20-something years. I can't wait for next I would like... I miss is there a way to find it? Fred's dad brought David back up here. There's Smiley Face. He just chimed in. Let's go. Thanks, Smiley Face, man. Yeah, I can't wait either. Hopefully we have the season. That'd be wonderful. Either way, I don't know if we're going to have crowd noise, which sucks, because that's like such a foundational pillar of college football that I love. You know, my question is, because they're given five substitutes, like the Bundesliga, which starts Saturday, two days, well, a day and however many hours, um, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, I have money on that already. But the question is, given the five substitutes rather than the three, that's time off the clock. You know, most managers do it around 69 to 74 minutes out of 90. How much is the Bundesliga going, going to abide by the additional time added after the night? You know, things like that. That's how deep I am. Yeah, no idea. Were you talking about soccer? Yeah, yeah. Uh, incoming, you're going to love this. What is that? From the chat. I it's think the Premier League of Germany is Bundesliga. Well, mom, well, app just crashed. Thank you. Uh, waiting for you to respond to this yeah, from the been. chat. Soccer sucks. Someone <laughs> just tell me to shut up. You know? No, no, no. <laughs> like literally, someone just tipped joking, but we know it was pros. I'm going to ask so many questions in the Patreon. Thank you. It's still left. That was dude. Be patient with me. Whatever. You know, I am who I am. I don't care. The Mobe Man, thanks for the 15th super chat. Oh my god. Thanks for the dreams. Dude, Elliot. I'm just trying to get an insight. Like, that's how. Thank you, Elliot, man. Uh, up 2 0 away. They're going to stretch out that 70 to 85 minute. 100%. They're going to sub. And the people are going to walk off, checking their shins and all that. I, like, I look into that. That's money. That's. So if you're looking at over or unders and you live bet, right? Let's say it's nil nil at the half, and you know Bayern Munich is gonna put at least two up. You know, and they're away, and they're just being like comfortable. You know, letting the home team have their crowd and letting them chance and whatnot, right? Well, most good teams away, they beat them in the second half. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Let's hit the chug. So. They don't want to. They don't want to send them home too early. I got it in at 97.50, so who's this guy? Seriously. Chug those carbs. Yeah, that's 2.6 carbs, dude. Goodness. I didn't sell it off, though. Thank God. I didn't sell it off after the... I was actually watching Comedy Central. My girl wanted me to watch The Office. I swear to God. And I come back, I'm like, oh my goodness. I could have sold that for like... I wanted to spin that wheel and get trapped. Watching it after like four hours, yeah. I just wanted to get out. Safe. Elliot, thanks, get, dude. Uh, you said it's your one year anniversary of watching uh, the stream. That's awesome, dude. One year. Hi, the chat for Elliot. Thanks for the 20, dude. Goodness gracious. All right, that is spun there for you, man. Lord. Decibel level is good. Everyone can hear the Discord chat, the music, and me. See, door, it's like 10. Another spin, please. All right, another spin. Sure thing, dude. Oh my god. Good song. Save. Liverpool, yeah, they've only lost one match. And I couldn't believe that they were going to take away the entire season. What? Based on like COVID, come on, man. There's football every day. If you know. It's balanced, it's perfect. Yeah, Liverpool, definitely. How's 
too. They played so well, man. So How's well. DraftKings having earnings? Let's tomorrow, see. tomorrow morning. There's no way they can have earnings. Or did they come from an OTC and then because like their That's chart already existed and then they went public and I was like, dude, I have no <laughs> idea. One, they got the Donkey Kong ticker. Yeah, Donkey uh, Kong. They- they log pawned. scale 1618 a little bit of divergence up at that golden mean ratio in log scale right? yeah but what's this what's this chart from what's the previous part of the chart from it's a different uh, different asset oh, uh, probably easily google you could google that right Sully. so unless they were otc i came from egypt uh, and he had to two channel. hours one way just to go play football then had to go another two hours back holy that no man, one cares. No. no, it matters, man, because he came from nothing. No, it does. No, it does. In Liverpool, it does. I promise you. So Apple if you think reversed. it doesn't, go check me and send me some information because I'm telling you right now, Liverpool loves that. That's why I love about Liverpool, the club. I'm a Chelsea supporter. But Liverpool, they love that. And I would too as a Chelsea yeah, if they came here, you know? What I'm saying, though, is that that's respectable, man. Like, this kid came from nothing. That's why he's so modest, just like Mitch. That's what I take from him. He's humble. You know, it, how are you going to trust like this cat? I'm telling you, that's why people love this guy. Saleh is, he's tits. I mean, there's no one that can, uh, you watch him play and you watch his hump, like how humble he is and re- just respects everything that's around him. 10 US dollars for the it's man that has heavily influenced TA uh, for me. Dodge Based on TA, this will land on the chart, but I have a stop loss on social. Nice, yeah. Theodore, we'll give it a shot. Yeah. We'll put that I get it. To the it's test. all college football, right? Like, collegiate football, that's fine. I mean, no, it's not. It's just like, for me, like, you know. You know, it's like, if you talk about it, that's fine. I'm just not going to be able to reciprocate with conversation because I literally just don't follow any aspect of that sport. Nor, you know, it's like, it's just, you know. But I'm not saying anything. I'm just hanging out, you know, and thank you, KCW, for the five. Elliot, man, for the string intensity. I'll give you a heads up. I'll give you a heads up when there's a good match to bet on. And I'll, I'll show you my bet. I'm not like, oh, yeah, bet on this. No, I'll show you my ticket. Yeah, well, so, yeah, that's what we do. We'll do that uh, during football season, like in the Patreon and stuff. So, but, so it's like you know, it's like, hey, what the juice is I if you lose. Food, but this looks like a good, you know, triangle. What uh, oscillate? No, ascending triangle. Yeah. You have to drink. It says patrons drink. Someone said they want a social as a patron. Well, you got it, man. And the last one was too. So, am I a problem? What? No, you're not a problem. Bro? No, we we're just talking yeah. about the wheel. Oh, Landed on patrons' sense. drink, so it was like, no, we're good, man. We're just we're just talking. But Apple, though, yeah, had an eighty-eight percent retrace. It's a bearish bat like Bitcoin, much more significant pattern. But it reversed there. But mother of God, if it's not holding on to three hundred four and pivoting and kind of piercing line today, yeah. God, like what a joke! Money printer go burr. Sorry to just not. You're just not gonna stop it, man. It's gonna be a deep crab, dude. You're gonna go to four hundred dollars, bro. This is gonna happen, dude. You want the crab? Yes. Yeah, you yeah, the crab. It's gonna have the deep crab. You're gonna see it again, and then it's gonna go beyond it. It's gonna go to yeah. super crab levels. Just kidding. There's no super crab. Well, that was the last one, the deep crab. It went up to yeah, one six one eight. Just kept going. Deep crab, but it, yeah. <laughs> just dirt. Just look. This was it right here. This parabola right here. Once it broke the parabola, it was amazing. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> My God. Wait, wait. I spent too much time on it. Oh, two. Here's one. Not enough. I get in at ninety-seven fifty. Gosh. You drink, Elliot. There's the ten. Here's another. I got. Nvidia Hello, just all time highs, didn't they? Oh, yes, like, yeah, yeah. recently. Logan wrecked, but yeah, oh, cool. that that's one's like touchy. Alabama, like I spent the last thirty minutes What's trying to figure out how to enable the microphone. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Well, welcome. Hey, but uh, I got it working now. And your name is a, a scientist. scientist, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing some diligent research. Uh, came to the conclusion. I've been, I've been looking at uh, engineering on how a headphone. I'm not that kind of scientist, brother. <laughs> what? 
kind are you? I'm in biotech. Why does it say crypto then? Uh, oh, because I love crypto. Because right. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be easily taggable in Discord. Yeah. That and stay at home. I know, huh? Type in well, crypto and st or stay, and it's like there's nine thousand people to tag. Well, so to be like, honest, um, I changed that uh, name, crypto scientist. I, I really got into Bitcoin during that first uh, super super pump of twenty seventeen. Uh, the Great FOMO. Yeah, twenty seventeen. This called the Great FOMO. That was insane. Uh, TM trademark. From the house, if someone would have been like, would you call it the Great FOMO? The Great FOMO of twenty seventeen. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I had that. See me, futures are coming. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, it did, and destroyed. Walmart, please. <laughs> Elliot, yeah, dude. Thanks for the ten, dude. Here's your spin, connect. And uh, so I mean, that was Logan Wreck again. I, that was the catalyst at the very that end. Is that just, let, yeah, like, just you're not parabola straight, straight up. You're, you're, oh, Brad Pitt's getting into crypto. All that. I mean, just stupid amounts of euphoria and FOMO. I just. Hey, is this a diamond bottom reversal going on on Walmart? Oh, it could be, man. Diamond bottom, or not diamond bottom, excuse me, uh, island bottom reversal, excuse me. Or at some point we just- Island top. Island, island bottom. Where do you have island? Look, island bottom, look right here. That's a candlestick island bottom, pattern, what is it? Island bottom. Uh, island that's the island. Is a candlestick pattern. Okay. Well, this that's this was an island top, top, kind of, in a way. <laughs> like it kind of was an island top. I mean, you gap and then you gap down. That's an island friggin' top reversal. And so, uh, do you have an island bottom reversal going on now? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I, none of this works, save. So you're back inside. Yeah, look at this, dude. So it may not be like you're back inside the like the range. Whoa! What the heck? What's up, Matthew D, dudes? Bruh. Bruh. Hey, isn't that a uh, sim trial if you're looking at the, if you kind of ignore the... Elita, take care of my bubble gump money. He got me invested Hold in some kind of TTS. Fruit company. And so then I got a call from them saying we don't have to worry about money no more. Oh, is that right? Is that how the, the quotation goes in first gump, Matthew D? Thanks so much for the 1212. Much love, man. At least I can't screw up a southern accent. Thanks, dude. Oh, you power up? Okay, he wanted me to do. Uh, so what do I do? So it's like. Bleh. Oh, it didn't work. Crap. Sorry. Bleh. Bleh. I hate when it does that though. That's what I don't like about this filter. Anyway, yeah, it will be Super Sans. Whatever, dude. So Walmart. But yeah, thank you, Matthew, man. Oh, I got a spin for that too. I think that a spin for Elliot on for the Apple one. All right, that's a gulp, I guess. Whatever. I have to chug this beer. Bruh. God. <sighs> what hey, Mitch, I know there's a lot going on, on right now, but uh, <laughs> dude, I missed my short on ninety nine fifty on Bitcoin, like. At this point, it's probably best I just hodl because I don't really have a plan. Yeah, it's always best to do nothing when you don't have a plan. A lot of times. Um, yeah, that all day. And, and here's the thing, yeah, man. Like, if, if the trend's truly bullish, like, you'll see patterns like this reverse here. And the reversal is so weak. It's like, oh, it only hit a 382. It only hit a 50%. And it, it ends up reversing again and going back up. So that's possible here. If things are just too bullish, like, man, you go back to... Uh, you go back to Bitcoin, this is a great example of a harmonic in an uptrend. So you see this, right? Well, let's go, the, the higher highs, higher lows, never, never, never. let's go back to... Let's go back to 2018 right here. Yeah, here it was, man. This is a perfect example. I even, I think this used to be on my Instagram or something, I don't even remember. Seven eight six. Yeah, some it was like this, man. It was like a bearish cipher in an uptrend already, and it retraced. You know, it was like a percent or two off of its uh, 
PCZ for selling off. Hit a, from a low to the high, a 50% retrace on the, I'll never forget this, man. It's just like, you go low down here to high, 50% retrace, 200 moving average, and the uptrend continued, right? So it didn't like majorly reverse everything. You were already in the, the trend was up. So it's like these patterns will play out and then they'll just reverse and they'll go up again. So, well, that can happen here very well if things are so bullish. Marco, this man. Streaming late tonight. Can you take uh, v -tick. Please, thank you, Mitch. Oh, Please. love VTIG, man. Everyone wants to see it, dude. It's Vectoic. Who, who normally sells the most like off of Panic? Is it Asia or Europe or? There's no Panic selling, really. Well, how is it not? It's... You... It's like a market nightmare. market movers that are moving it and then stop losses getting hit doing stuff like that. Oh, another day of sell scary Very selling. Small amount of the scary selling. Out. What? <laughs> you say though, you know, honestly. Well, and I feel like you were saying, Jeff. Remember that one time when the base of the hedge, um, the leverage gets called and all those positions yeah. have to get closed you, because of the big going up. That was a big driver. Dude, Julia Gulia saved my ass last night. Um, she's so it. nice. And she it shaved it? It's a legend. No, 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 no. Uh, nice. I almost sold at 8,800. A Bitcoin at 8,800. Or not last night, but uh, it was like it was like above 9,000. Somewhere. It was like... Yeah, well, it was like 9,850, I believe. It well, like I, at that, I think. I, it was lower 9,000, but um, yeah, she was so cool. She was Fuck. like... You don't don't do anything unless you've got a plan. Like that's stupid. Like you've got to always have a plan in trading. And so uh, <laughs> she recommended that book, Trading in the Zone. And like, dude, it just like totally calmed me down just listening to the, the audio book on YouTube. Just amazing. Mitch, you need audio books, man. Come on now, Amazon. A, let's a go. live stream is technically an audio book. It's just a live audio book in its own way, but improvised every day. In yep. I told you, I told you to go private after YouTube is having their whatever fiasco, trying to test you or whatever, put you on the books. I don't know how they they really operate. To me, that's a big question mark. So what I is going on in the chat, yeah. man? Uh, Dude, oh my god! So my friend just texted me. He said to everyone saying America won't reopen strong. Jurassic Park reopened five times after people were eaten alive. Five times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, five times. <laughs> That's dumb, dude. So, so for Marco who tipped that 20, he was just asking about VTIC. We're talking about FIB retraces the downside now. You've hit a 38% retrace as of today, but also what you've done today is you've had a bearish engulfing candle. And uh, I don't think, I mean, there's nothing holding this up. You could reverse a new time, sure, but. I mean, you get your impulse up, you sell off 382, 50%, 620. You, you normally would pivot there and rally to make a lower high, double top, or slightly higher high. And that's when you start getting that complex harmonic stuff. The attempted rally will be coming, but I don't know if it's going to be a, the, this Fib node or the next Fib node or the next one after that. And then again, you might see a pivot for another run, but that run is going to be like how market participants gain some sort of vision of confirmation of like, is it a double top or something, right? <sighs> yeah, OMG got listed to Coinbase or something and it pumped, right? Oh my god. Yes, congratulations to OMG for S coin whack a mole. You did it, man. So it's like, hey, you could have held OMG for two years and lost like everything and it pumped today, and it's like you're still down like how how many percentage points probably? Uh, that guy, that crazy dude, robbed something uh, from Beasley's channel. The dude that said that it was his roommate that stole his computer. Who is Those this? guys were all OMG. Rob S or something like that. He had oh, like, yeah. a, like a mental breakdown after something. I don't know. There's a bunch of weird stuff. He, oh, he and I got into it in chat. Like, <laughs> going... When, he was chirping, uh, what's his name? Chirping? Uh, Bre Brennan. Yeah, he was just being an arse. And I said something to him, and then he was like, who are you? I've never seen you here before. Man, 
to you, yeah, what? No, I'm saying that, yeah. Every time you speak, it's like, everyone shuts up. So I can't, for some reason. I'll, I'll just go on. It's like you and Mitch, sorry. Yeah. I, I don't know, I think, and I like to voice it out. Take this shit coin. There you go. That can be. Yeah, that can be shown. <laughs> not shit coin. Seventy-five fifty. Yes, that was a bad call, but at least I can say that I did that, right? It's not a point. It's complete. to me. No, to me, that's the winner. To say, you know what? It's like, it's like anything. I I grew up in sports, right? If I fail at something, I don't want a coach to say, Sean, that's not how it works. There's no leverage. I want him to say, get your shit together and fucking do it. Too many carbs. No, it's two point six carbs, man. It's fine. I got a lot of carbs from the beer. What do you? What about you guys? <sighs> I don't know how you do it, man. Do what? I love bread. I love bread. I grew up in a family that loved bread. You know, cheese, baguettes. You know. <clears throat> that was, you know, my dad definitely taught me. I mean, it was just like he was. He was always doing like the Adkins and stuff. So it was always like, I don't know. I just don't like bread really that much anyway. Like beer would be, that's like where, oh, my carbs would come from beer. Did he pass? <clears throat> oh. mm, goodness. Sorry, man. What are you sorry for? Uh, asking. Why? I don't. No one's offended. Passed. Did he pass? Did who pass? Your dad. Oh no, no, no! no I, I didn't even hear you ask that question. No, no, no! He's still, he's still around. Saw him a couple days ago. Yeah, he's like uh, seventy-two. He looks like he's fifty-two. Right? So at least like I got in it. He's like, man, here. Come on. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, I, it's it's unreal. Like, I'll hear people say, oh, dude, that guy's like 62. It's like, that guy looks like 20 years older than my dad. My dad's 10 years older than them. Hopefully, I have that to look forward to, you know, later in life. So it's all about now, right? Just loving in the moment. If you make the right decisions now. Yeah, it'll be better for you in the future certainly and that's why you you know I'm, I'm gonna try to... the keto you know I'm really gonna try I do have a problem with bread but the cheese I'm all for you know so but yeah I'm gonna you get, try you to better have a plan research. man you better be, like right. research it don't don't just jump in like make sure you have the food I'm ready at hand ready. you you know what you're doing you know meal prep make sure you know like hidden carbs like some things that you just think won't have a carbs you got to make sure everything is like low to no carbs I I yeah to john really w thin, and that's part of my problem but i used to be really fit as well i used to do a yoga twice a day literally i was so fit i i felt like i was crazy about it um so i kind of got off that when my friend died and you know um, but like now I kind of want to get back in shape and, you know, move on with that. I'm not like crazy out of shape or anything. It's just like, I'm an athlete, you know, so it bothers me when I look at, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, no, I hear you. I mean, it's like, not, do you think, like, I don't need, I never needed keto. I just felt like, uh, it's Corona, like, why not? nothing to do. I mean, yeah, I've now, I've spent now, I've now spent the last two months in ketosis I have learned an exceptional amount about health and nutrition and all these different things invested in myself. And uh, I've, you know, been extremely active every single day, seven days a week, like I stream, you know, so uh, I'm in, like the best shape I've been in since college right now. How much and, weight have you lost, Mitch? Uh, February I started, it was before keto though. I I started at like 196, 197, and now I'm at 179, 180. You've lost That's 15 amazing. pounds in five miles a day, or roughly? Yeah, yeah, 10,000 steps minimum every day, yeah. We're gonna test this out. I'm gonna get Scott Cochran on a Zoom 
conference. Do it, enjoy man. Their, their workout. Do it. I'll shake my head. the Bama, Bama Zoom workout. You mean the Georgia or, no. Zoom workout? <laughs> Georgia's new workout. Yeah, all our coaches, staff getting poached, man. <laughs> Every one of them. Man. I don't know if you saw this. I'm sure you probably didn't, but it was on ESPN and they showed uh, what was it? The Fiesta Bowl. It was um 2000. Excuse me. Uh, the Oklahoma Texas and Boise. No, 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 Auburn. They ran it back for a. It was a yes. bowl game. Oh, was and it the cha- championship? Was it the Oregon Auburn title game? Or was it the Auburn versus um, Alabama game? No, nah, Bama doesn't has never played in the Fiesta Bowl recently. Yeah. They always play in the, the other one, the Peach Bowl. Or, Saban or made a. Uh, but that's kick six, and that's in Jordan Hare. Dude, the same one. I ran it back. Chris <laughs> Davis. That, but <laughs> you're talking about the Fiesta yeah. Bowl. You're talking about the Iron Bowl, right? The Iron Bowl, yes. Because yeah, you yeah. did say Fiesta, and that made me be like thinking about real Fiesta Bowls, not the Iron Bowl. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that, that I was at that game. Yeah, it was awful. Fucking yeah, jeez. It's terrible. Sorry, man. I'm glad. I'm just glad I didn't go to the game last year in Jordan Hare. I, I was this close, and I didn't. And it's like, no, no, nah, nah, so because I, I, I put money on Bama and still won. Right? How does that feel? Feels real good. How do you bet on Bama in the Iron Bowl and cover? What was the with spread? The line? Oh, the line was uh, minus ten or something. Yeah, minus ten. Yeah. I'm pretty sure because I, I if I got a 10 no maybe minus seven or something because I got ended up at no it had to be minus 13 I got a, I got a 10 points so no it was minus 12 and a half and I took 10 points on Bama and that put me down to minus 2.5 so that that had to be the spread honestly like you don't have to answer that if you don't well it's answered it's minus 12.5 in the end, what it ended up at, it's, it opened at 15, minus 13, and then I ended up getting my line. It was one point during the week. It was minus 12.5. I'm asking, like, which site? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, see, the thing is about my bookie local, I've learned that there are just different websites they use from time to time. Mine's called uh, Duck. Hold on. Duck777 or something? It's through your local guy. Don't, yeah, don't. Put it out there. Oh, yeah. Bovada, these yeah, I don't use those big sites. I use a guy who has his own little thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Like, I compliment you. I use Bovada. I'm Hall of Fame. That makes any sense. Oh, Blue Beast. Yeah, it sucks, man. I was dealing with a hysteric girlfriend, bawling her eyes out, leaving. Had my, I like, put my hood on. I'm just like, well, let's get the out of here. Oh, it was a terrible walk back to the car. I'm actually an affiliate with Bovada as well. Anyway, so I think uh, I've been live an hour and 30 minutes, so I think I'm about to get out of here. I, I think, uh, let's see, I'm at 96.64 steps. I have less than 400 to go for my 10K for the day, and it's 11.37 my time, so I'm going to get those in real quick. But, uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been a good uh, Patreon stream tonight. Got to talk about sports and just random stuff. Bitcoin, gold, Apple, Walmart, whatever, man. B-Tick. It's been good. B-Tick Connect, yeah. I know. So thank you all for like being in the voice chat tonight. Uh, and thanks just so much for the support. This night's for y'all, you know, every week. So uh, Hey, thank you, Mitch. Thanks, we appreciate you, brother. I uh, definitely appreciate y'all too, and uh, can't do without you. So, just uh, yeah, you got questions. Do without you. Yeah, you got any questions about Tenek Nazis up in the Discord or the chat, man? Thanks so much. Yeah, dude. Like we're that. gonna make sure that we make yeah. time. We're gonna make that money, okay? MMM. And we're gonna make money, Godra Bogan. Some money is the millions, and that's what we're gonna do. Second it up and a bunch of. Bruh. <laughs> Exactly. I couldn't have said it better myself. All right, y'all. It's gonna hit hit that disconnect button. Y'all are amazing. Peace out. All right, y'all. End of the night. Price analysis. Well, I did a beginning of the night price analysis, and this is it, dude. Bearish bat. If you hadn't noticed the bat on your screen, 
PZZ, it's been there. It was there when Bitcoin was like 8,900. This pattern was up on your screens. So, uh, oh, what's up, James, dude? He's watching. Yeah, this is the chill stream, man. Those pecans are delicious. I know, man. I had a couple before. I'm like, this is too sweet. There's something wrong. And I checked inside the sugar. You can't do it. Uh, so, what do you want, man? Bitcoin reversed exactly where it probably should have. The hidden bearish divergence played out. It hit a 382, but that's pretty shallow. You know, you'd think in time, 9,024. I mean, that's a target for a short from an entry up here at the 886. It's 50%, 618, 786. So uh, these are areas where it could reverse majorly the upside again, since the trend is kind of you know, definitely bullish for now, higher lows. You just want to, when you do, it'd be nice to get an edge on the market with like divergence, like 60 minute bullish ever into one of these Fib nodes. But uh, I think that Bitcoin could very well run up to 9,600 to back test it as resistance before it sells off more. It's very possible. You know how important 9,600 is, that daily, weekly overhead resistance. So. Uh, thanks whoever tipped me $7.35 of Dash just now. Sorry, man. One of them coins broken, and there's nothing I can do about it. Sorry, y'all. I know, Crypto Tiger. That must have been you, man. Thanks for the Dash. It works, dude, but it doesn't show up on stream. And so it's good that I received the contribution, but, you know, you deserve the recognition for tipping me, and that's what's bothering me the most. So uh, I'm working on it the best I can, but... You get it, man. You've hit. You've already hit the golden zone, which is hilarious in in seconds when it was dumping. But you know it could go a little deeper. All right. So I'll be back. Thanks so much for the likes, love, support, contributions, the chugs that I have incurred. I'm gonna go get these remaining steps since I don't break don't break a streak. I'm on like a three week plus 10k every single day step thing. So we get that in. Thanks so much. I'll be back later. Till next time. Respect the tea. Hey.